Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your July 2018 reading. We're just going to see whatever comes up. This is for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to get a past, present, and future and then I'm going to do some clarifiers. This is just like a special edition. I will go back to my old ways, you know, for my weeklies and whatnot. I'm just called to do this one this way for some reason solar plexus chakra this is um the i can this is about power it's about self-esteem it's about confidence i know that i can do whatever i put my mind to okay eight of pentacles and then we have the crown chakra that is the that is the i know i know i can that's fantastic right i know that i can so i know that's your source of wisdom look at the cards just flying out for you you guys have gained a lot of wisdom therefore you you have this inner knowing you know you know so don't doubt yourself at this time okay this is a higher consciousness This is the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Seven of Wands, the Fool, and, and the Judgment card. All right. The way I'm looking at this is this is past, present, and future. I also look at diagonals. I go with whatever my intuition tells me when I'm reading the cards. I just want to make sure that this is zoomed in. All right, so you guys have you guys may have decided to go down a new path. You have probably um, been juggling quite a bit. You know, you're trying to make a decision. Okay, we have the two of pentacles here, so it looks as though you guys have a new door opening, and you're probably being called to. Uh, you know, make a choice here. What, which one? Which one do you want to go through? Okay, what option do you want to take? Um, because it may be a little bit too much for you. Whatever's happening is probably um, going to bring more balance into your life. But you do have to make a choice. You do. It appears that you may have been struggling with a choice. Maybe you've been feeling a little overwhelmed with some decision that you need to make. Um, but I do see a level of confidence here, okay? So you probably know that you, you know, what you need to do, but you may be feeling like going down this, going through this, or making this choice, I'm trying to think of the right words, making this choice might, might be against somebody else's will you know what I mean it's like you're you're gonna have to stand up for yourself when you make this decision because somebody else might not like the decision that you make okay so I think that may have been may have been a factor uh recently in your life because this is in the past past position where you've had to make a difficult decision as to what way you wanted to go and you had to choose the way that was best suited for you because I see stand your ground which is the seven of wands where you have to really defend yourself you know defend your choices okay in this situation and basically say you know what I have to do what's right for me I have to and I feel confident that I'm making the right decision so I feel like you guys have had to make a decision and based on what you know and based on who you are so I feel like you guys probably did make the right decision for yourselves so congratulations it feels like you guys have stood up for yourselves and and made the right call that's what it looks like to me as far as the as the present goes you're moving forward um, pretty quickly and it is positive movement okay we have that eight of pentacles it's like your your hard work has paid off so um, and you found some new there's a there's a new growth because of the actions that you take so i feel as though there is some new beginning here there is a new beginning with with the ace of wands and the fool card there's a passionate new beginning unfolding right in front of you where you know it may have been a little bit risky but you made the decision to take it you made the decision to take this risk 
and it's probably pretty exciting okay there's a lot of growth here and you know it okay and I think that you're up for the task you're up for this this the work that it will take to make this make this grow I think that you guys are making positive changes and choices in your life based on based on your own self-esteem your self-confidence and what you want and you're taking risks that will broaden your horizons per se I feel like you do have wish fulfillment right around the corner in your life whatever this pertains to whether it's work or love there's an opportunity for for a lot of growth here in your life and it's because of it's because of you it's because of the who what you're doing and to make this happen there's a lot of um there's a lot of positive thinking there's a lot of uh mental strength there's a lot of hard work involved and you're doing it you're doing it all you're taking the steps to prevail to grow to expand yourself and it, it just looks really 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 positive this this whole reading does for july i see that you guys are headed towards wish, wish fulfillment because of your own actions you know you guys are doing it you it's you you're doing it you know that you can do it your self-esteem is is on high and i feel like you guys have gone through some sort of awakening as well um you're not you're not holding on. You're not holding on to some sort of anything that was holding you back. I don't think you're holding on to it. I feel like you guys are really mastering your emotions this month. You know, and it is, I mean, half of the month is your birthday month. So you're right in your own element. I feel as though you have a major new beginning in front of you in which you worked hard to to get there, to get this new beginning, you know, it's not, this new beginning didn't, wasn't given to you, you, you did it, you, you took the steps to have this new beginning, I feel like there's a new spark within you, if you are single, there could be a new partner coming into your life, I think you're vibrating very, very high at this time, you know, you're, there's a high vibration surrounding you, I feel as though there is an opportunity for a new beginning with a partner, whether it's a reconciliation or a brand new partner. There is an opportunity for for passion, okay? A passion, a passionate beginning, whether this is in love or at work or whatever. Um, the truth card is the judgment card, so that could be a reconciliation if you've been waiting for that. Whatever this is, there's happiness in your in love, okay? There is. There's happiness in your life. And it's because of the, the the confidence that you have in yourself. I, I see a lot of confidence here. I saw, see a lot of uh, self-respect, self self-esteem, and she's some crow. Like, it, it just looks really, really good where you guys are right in your own element and vibrating at a very high level. We're going to get some clarifiers here for these cards. I want to know what this uh, this new this new passionate beginning is because we have that Ace of Wands. This is fertility. It's growth. It could be a new partner. You know, um, it's a new exciting opportunity that's pretty uh, adventurous. You know, and it does fulfill your wishes. It's very very um, beautiful. Whatever it is, oh, I got two. Yeah, there's 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 uh, cooperation here. There's communication. There's working together. There's a lot of togetherness with another person. It feels as though things had been stalled for quite some time, or this may have been postponed because you may have been needing to make this decision, needing to make this change in your life. I think that you made the change, and now now things are starting to happen again. You probably had to go through a period of or things were probably delayed while you were indecisive while cuz there was a level of indecisiveness in the past which delayed this this new beginning okay which delayed this wish fulfillment but now it feels like there's a a new level of appreciation there's cooperation there's there's compromising there's working together there's um a need to be more playful as well. So if you haven't been playful, be, feel free to open up a little bit. You know, and in in this I think it still pertains to the past. I really do. I think 
I think that there's been a level of detachment here. And this could even be with another person. Maybe you've been waiting for this new beginning. This could be a reconciliation, okay, from what I see right here. Maybe you've been waiting for a new beginning or a fresh start with somebody um, that was, and maybe things were start, were stalled. Maybe things were stagnant. Maybe th there was things were starting to fall apart in this connection, and maybe now there's there's a um, a new spark. Okay, so just keep th that. That will resonate with whoever. But I see that there's a, like a spark being relit after it was almost put out. You know, so this th there could be a reconciliation here f within a relationship that was almost. Um, I mean, it was completely almost like it was it was dead almost, you know. But then again, now it looks like it's coming alive. It's 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 coming back alive, whatever this is. So there could be a fresh start on the horizon with somebody that you have been with before. Just saying. I mean, I I have to say that because that's what I see. You know, there could be a, a reconciliation here with something that was completely stopped. It was. But now there's a new fi found spark that leads to wish fulfillment. Maybe it's something you've been waiting for. And this is a fresh start. It says new beginnings. This so this can be a brand new person or a reconciliation. It could be either one. I don't know. Let's find out. We do have a, we have an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. We have Aries. That's what we have so far. Now we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There's been some sort of observation here. Somebody has been observing this situation, trying to make a decision as to what to do. There's just been some observing. There's been some conflicts, maybe even, con you know, there's been some conflicting thoughts, conflicting thoughts, whether to move forward or not. But somebody has taken a step to do that. Oh, my gosh. And now we have the judgment card reversed. Um, somebody was unable to to speak their truth. And I think this is now currently connected to the past. You see how they're connected. So this was the decision that needed to be made. And these readings can always go vice versa. Somebody had to make a decision whether they wanted this reconciliation or not, whether they wanted to give this a chance, whether they wanted to work on it. They had been observing the situation, stalling, trying to figure out if they wanted to open their heart again. Whether this is you or the other person, somebody was trying to figure out, you know, if this was worth giving another chance. And so I feel like this is worth, whether this is with a reconciliation or not, there's an opportunity for a new beginning here, a fresh start. And somebody may have decided, I do want to give another chance. Somebody may have decided that, no, I don't want to give another chance. I want a new beginning elsewhere. This can go both ways because this is freedom. This is liberation. This is the end of a difficult period. So, you know, again, I mean, this this is the end of a difficult period. So something was stopped or stalled. And now it's like, I think it's becoming alive again. That's what it feels like to me. So, hmm. Yes, there's a major new beginning. A lesson has been learned. A lesson has been learned here. I think that somebody may have made themselves emotionally unavailable and stalled a reconciliation or a new beginning because they had something to learn. They did. They had something to learn. I mean, with that, and now it's connected to that to that uh, crown chakra. Gained some wisdom. Somebody gained some wisdom through postponement. You know, for lack of a better word, they had to observe through observation and postponement. You know, they they gained some sort of wisdom. Now they know that they want this new beginning. There's definitely a, a major completion here of a cycle that leads to a new beginning because that's what the world card is. A lesson has been learned about, about working together, about teamwork, about love. A lesson has been learned. And it does have to do with love. It has to, it has to do with a relationship. There's, there was arguments. There was pettiness. There may have been a breakup that taught somebody a difficult lesson. Okay? Uh, whatever has happened here, things have been stalled. And I think this is in your love life because somebody had to learn something. 
And so therefore, you know, this can go one of two ways. In one scenario, somebody ha is, is, is letting go of the past. They're shedding the past and they're, they're now ready to open their hearts and take a risk on love again. I'm ready. I'm ready for love. I've made the decision that I'm ready for a new passionate beginning with somebody. I'm ready. I'm ready for that. So this month, there is an opportunity, a new opportunity for love. For some of you, there is a reconciliation after somebody has come to the conclusion through observation and postponing opening their heart you know learning a hard lesson through alone time you know being alone how how good it feels to be together with someone you know because i see that togetherness is a big part of this month wanting togetherness wanting to work together i've decided that i know that we need to work together on this i know that we need to make some compromises i feel like some there is positive movement forward in regards to love where in the past there has been some kind of breakdowns in the love department but now you guys have this newfound passion this newfound spark within you that is probably allowing you or the other person to shed their old ways somebody is shedding their old ways with that judgment card and they are um or shedding the past you know shedding their past ways or the judgments or forgiveness you know they're forgiving i'm ready to i'm ready to open up and forgive and and take a risk here so somebody is ready to take a risk on love after stalling, after learning a hard lesson. Yes, now we have two Eight of Wands are right next to each other. There's something happening very, very quickly. Very quickly, okay? Something is happening. It's very, uh, it's very exciting, okay? There's probably a new exciting opportunity just coming into your life at lightning speed, okay, with three, these three cards. And it is in regards to a relationship, I think, okay? After somebody was freed, okay? After somebody was freed of some sort of... Difficulty, whatever it is. Yes, this could be somebody from your past, okay? There is somebody coming into your life. This could be somebody that you've known before. I need to clarify somebody from your past because I had a comment the other day. Somebody said, well, it, only, it could only be one of two people. What? Huh? Somebody from your past does not mean it's somebody that you slept with. Could be. Somebody from your past could be somebody you went to school with. Somebody from your past could be somebody you had a crush on. Somebody from your past could be somebody from your hometown. Could be somebody from a past life that you just feel familiar with. It doesn't mean that you've slept with this person. So, I believe there is somebody from your past that is probably rushing into your life or you are rushing into theirs very, very quickly. And you are probably being asked to take a risk there's a lot of passion there's a there's a lot of attraction between the two of you there is there's a lot of attraction there's a connection here that is undeniable okay there is there's there's like a, a magnetic attraction here this could be a soulmate connection there's been some trouble in the past in regards to a relationship whether it's a past relationship or the relationship that you're in now there's been some trouble but it feels like there's a newfound spark whether whether it's with a new person or it's with the person you're with that you're with that you've been having trouble with there's a newfound spark and there's a positive movement forward cancer so something is happening in your love life that is is pretty exciting this month it's probably a happy birthday and that is what i have talk to you later